Hey everyone, my name's Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week number one of P Ball, the Pokemon Battling Association League, and we are up against Hagbones. Uh, and this is going to be a really, really scary matchup here. We're going to be in with a brand new draft, a brand new team, a brand new season. This is something that I've been excited about for a little bit now, and thankfully, I think I've put together a really, really interesting team. A lot of mods that I've never used before, but I'm going to get right into team preview because he has a very, very scary team that I don't really know if I manage well, but we will see. The Excadrill Reggie Gigas. Okay, I did not expect the Reggie Gigas at all. Reggie Gigas, Latios, Heliolisk, and Primarina, and Zarud. Okay. Okay. I mean, I I'm I'm blown away not to see the Marowak here. I'm blown away not to see the Marowak here. But this means that the, that the only thing stopping my Zerkatry is going to be that extra drill and without the gigalith it becomes a lot more manageable although it's gonna still be a lot to deal with right uh potential leads on his end i mean obviously the extra drill is super duper scary i kind of i think i could safely make this lead i think this is the probably the safest lead that i have available to me other than that i mean we're just gonna do whatever we can do here um I, I'm, I'm very very scared i'm blown away not to see the, the old marowak i prepped a lot for that alone in Marowak because truthfully it can kind of tear through my team a little bit if it gets enough of uh, safe switches in but instead goes for the Regigigas which is going to be really difficult for me to deal with and if anything it, it really does stop my chandelure quite a bit but my main win condition I think is going to be my Zerkatry I really want my Zerkatry to be able to kind of win this matchup for me now here we have the Helilisk and I'm pretty positive that um, every indication is that I should outspeed here and I should potentially Oka with a body slam here. Regardless, his entire team is going to take a lot of damage from a body slam. So I'm just going to go for it here. I'm not going to think about it too, too much. But um, but yeah, man, I've used a heal list and I know just how poorly it can take almost every hit and it just does not take hits that well. So I don't think anything really wants to switch into it here. I'd be surprised if this is a scarf heal list. It does switch out and we'll get big damage off turn one onto something onto the excadrill now we should theoretically outspeed but the, but the fact that he's bringing it in like this does oh it's an air balloon okay so i was gonna say it does make me think that it could potentially be scarfed but it's gonna not be scarfed and we could go right out with an earthquake here which feels right to me um but based on that damage let me see something let me see something because um that was what about 40 percent that's about right for no bulk. Could potentially be max HP. Could potentially... Yeah, that yeah, that's about right for max HP, I think. In that case, I kind of have to click Earthquake here. And I think I'm going to. Even if the... Even if the Latios wants to come in... I mean, I mean, the Latios really does quite a number to my team. Um, my only real, real answer to the Latios is going to be my Silvali Steel. But here we get an Earthquake off. And it's going to be a KO right away. I mean, we'll take some Life Orb Recall, which is going to be unfortunate. But... Um, getting rid of that extra early is huge. That is absolutely huge. For, actually, it's huge for my circuitry. I really don't know what kind of solid answers he has to my circuitry, really. I mean, the Zerud potentially, but, um, I have a very strong suspicion that it's going to be much more offensive circuitry. So I think, or, or off, offensive Zerud. So I think circuitry really has the opportunity to kind of, um, do everything that it needs to do right now. Um, now don't get me wrong, because, um, uh, a modest... A modest uh oh and here we have an opportunity to click mega horn and if we land this is a potential oko depending on how on how um this this thing is ev'd but we're honestly going to have to see just what kind of damage output we have on this thing i should check i think i i think i did a calc on on max on max hp zarud and i know at some point i saw there was some potential for for okos but i don't quite remember if that was Okay, it, it, it will get a darkest layer it off, but we should take that decently well. We will hopefully land a Mega Horn. We do land the Mega Horn, and that is going to be a KO. It's straight up KO. Satoru's already coming out with two KOs. Um, and I think whatever comes out, I, I definitely want to preserve the Tauros. I think it's going to be my best answer to the Healer list. It gets a lot of damage off on the on the Latios. I think overall it's just going to be. Um, oh, and I, I sorry, I was just thinking that I was just thinking. Now that Zerud had to be scarfed. Because I'm a max speed Tauros. Although, now that I see this thing, I really just need to get damage on this thing, right? I'm going to check it out. Okay, one second. Uh, just a max HP Regigigas. Body Slam is doing about half. That'll allow me to bring in the Zerkatry. 
which will do a, another around half. Um, what would I do here? I could bring in the Skarmory. Skarmory? Yeah, I think Skarmory is a really solid play here. I think Skarmory is going to be the, a really solid play here. Um, it'll allow me to get some kind of hazards up, and it'll l let me uh, threaten this thing with body press, if nothing else. Goes for a sub, which I think is fine for the situation. Um, even after slow start ends, I don't think it's going to... Yeah, it's not going to be doing a whole lot of damage here. Um, and if anything, it might be more important to get rocks up here. I might just go for it, yeah. I don't think there's too much of a downside here, question mark. I'm not too, too sure. I am faster, which I guess is due to slow start, but still, um, it, it, it's just, I don't know, I didn't expect it to be faster. Uh, we'll see the drain punch. Um, doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. And I should be free to get a couple body presses off sooner or later. All right. And in fact, I could kind of load up on hazards just to kind of ensure some damage onto the Free Marina because the Free Marina is still incredibly scary, right? I don't know how well I manage the the Free Marina here. So I'm going to have to think about that a lot. I still do have the Savali Steel, but it's always going to be difficult. It's always going to be difficult. And there's a spike. That might be enough to kind of do what I want to do. I don't want to let this thing get out of hand. But it's not really setting up. It's just kind of going for drain punches um, and not really doing much damage. And, and I know the damage will double soon, but even at double damage, that was a crit. Even at double damage, I'm not the most concerned, but I don't know if I should be concerned. I'm, I, like, I honestly don't know what to think right now. So my instinct is to say that I'm safe for now, especially if he's going to chill behind a sub and get, su and get lefties for a little bit. Uh, can I see? Nope. Can I see the info? Uh, no, I don't get to see what turn to slow start he's on. So, um, do I get another spike up? I think I, I think only because Latios, I think it's not the most worth it. I, th I think I could just pretty freely body press. So according to this, if it's just a max HP Regigigas, like max HP, max attack kind of thing, then body press should still be doing right around half, give or take, based, uh, based on the rolls here. Um... So I guess we'll kind of see how this goes. So I'm not doing a whole lot of damage. I guess, oh, I guess he's waiting for me to want to roost here. Which is definitely fair. That's totally fair. Um, and, and I came very, very close to bringing a Rocky Helmet. Um, a Rocky Helmet Skarmory, which would have been really interesting here. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting because I can never 2 a KO because of the leftovers. I think that's how it works out because it based on le leftovers and rolls, but body press is still going to be doing a very respectable amount of damage. That should be, that should actually be, I mean, that's potentially max HP and a lot of defense investment, but yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm in danger yet. I don't think I'm in danger yet, especially when he gets out of slow start and I can start roosting more freely. But body press is still going to be doing... Yeah, finally gets his act together. So, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, Regigigas is is probably really popular right now. Um, man, I'm, I, I have no idea. Okay, I was going to say, I have no idea how much damage it's going to do post slow start. But, yeah, like I said, now that I'm going second, it will allow me to roost very, very freely. But for right now, I just want to get damage off. And that is a... Was that a crit? That was not. That was just a, lot, a decent amount of damage. And I think I'm going to try to get up a roost here just to kind of... Well, what is this thing? I mean, this thing kind of just loses to the rest of the team. I, it, it should, you know, maybe switch into a moon blast from the... Well, I guess it's okay against... I don't know, whatever. I, I, I guess I should play this as safely as I possibly can. It does withdraw. So, probably going into... Okay, goes into the frame arena. That's fair. I don't really have solid switches into, to um. I don't really have solid switches into a strong water move here. My best answer is Hydreigon, which is obviously not going to be great. It is leftovers, which does confirm that it's not scarfed, which is uh, important for right now. So I think how I play this, right? 
I think I do this. I think I do this to take the water move, and then I... And then I U-turn to try to take the steel move, or d the fairy move. Oh, okay. I mean... Oh. oh. Oh, right, right, sorry. Um, I saw Hyper Voice, and my first thought was, was, um... Was... Um, Pixelate, but this is Liquid Voice. Uh, that confused the heck out of me for, for a second. I apologize, but, um... I should be really, really free to click U-turn and... Uh, attempt to go into the Sovali, and Sovali should have a really strong multi-attack that should hit the entire team pretty darn well here. Um, but he does switch out, which is going to be interesting. Uh, this U-turn has a potential to KO now uh, with the entry hazards. If it doesn't just go down, to, yeah, it goes down to the spike, so that's going to be a KO for Skarmory. Um, a really well-deserved KO for Skarmory. Um, but that's interesting. Um, maybe once this free switch into the Latios? If that's the case, then my play is still the same. Then my play is still to get into the the Sovali Steel as soon as possible. However, this might change a little bit because... I don't know. Does it change anything? Does it change anything? No, it goes back into the Primarina. It wasn't Scarf, so it wasn't trying to get out of a... Out of a... Choice Lock or anything. But my play is still the same. I just U-turn out into the Sovali. And I'm still going to get a really fat multi-attack off. I'm still going to get a really fat multi-attack off. Now, this thing is probably at least max HP, right? And if it is, then I'm only doing around half, but it's not going to do the most back to me. It's not going to be doing the most back to me. Um, and multi-attack is just going to hit the rest of his team just decently hard. Um, I have rocks for the Latios, and I have rocks and spikes for the Ghost for the Flip Turn. Okay, very strong play. Very, very strong play. And I am max special defense careful, but obviously, you know, flip flip turn uh, probably does um, as much damage as, as a resisted special hit at that point. So, very, very strong move. He he obviously knew that I wanted to U-turn because of the fire move against the Reg Gigas, but um, he was very free to make that play. I just wasn't sure if he would. Uh, and I wasn't in a position to kind of play off that because if I, you know, went for Earth Power, got some damage off, and then let him flip turn... Then he goes into Latios, and then I'm and I'm, I'm in a not great position no matter what happens, right? Goes into the Heliolisk. Goes into the Heliolisk. Actually, now he's in a position where... Um... I mean, I feel like I just take any hit that this thing wants to hit me with, right? I feel like I just parting shot right now. He could Volt Switch, but I, I take whatever hit. I can parting shot... Actually, do I just hit... Th this is going to be resisted, but it's going to be stab resisted, and multi tag is just strong. And, I'm, and I only want to look this up because I know how atrociously bad Helix's uh, physical defense is. But no, it it's going to take this fine. So the, so the right play is always going to be the parting shot here. The right play is always going to be the parting shot here. It's going to get a really strong Thunderbolt off. Uh, that's stronger than I would have thought. I do get paralyzed. But if anything was going to eat the paralyzed and get the parting shot off, um, it would be here. And what does this mean now? It means that... Um, I mean, if anything, it means that I can do this. And the circuitry is going to have a difficult time with the Latios. But it should be in a position to kind of just deal some damage here. All right? I could go for the Dazzling Gleam. It's going gonna, it's gonna to put me in a bad position against the Free Marina. Um, but I can just try to manage that regardless. I guess we just see what happens here. I guess we just see what happens here. This was not the strongest play. I, th I, I probably should have made... I mean, if anything, I, I probably should have just, just switched out. I probably should have just gone into um, Chandelure instead. But because of the Hazard's damage, this might get 2 KO. And if it is, then that is very, very close to a potential wrap, I think. Um, That is going to be a 2 KO. So I will get a Beast Boost on this turn, I think, no matter what happens. Either that or the Latios comes in and, and I get... And I'm able to get... Um, Two hits off on the Latios, but I'm going to be at plus one, max special attack, modest. Um, unless it's, unless the Latios is scarfed, in which case it's a pretty problematic position to be in, but the Beast Boost is going to go off. I'm going to get a special attack rise. Um, and 
I don't know. I guess I guess I'm super curious as to what kind of damage I'm doing to Eladios. I do have to deal with this first, but I think actually against the heal disc, Dazzling Gleam oh, should always pick up this KO. Dazzling Gleam, sh Dazzling Gleam should always pick up this KO. Um, at plus one against the heal disc, and then against Eladios, I should again always pick up a KO. So this could be the end of the match here. He, he will see that I'm scarfed, but unless Eladios is scarfed, um, this is a potential win right now, I think. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. Will this be a Scarf Latios? I, I don't think he has any other Scarfed Mons, right? Oh, no. We, we know that there's Rude is Scarf. So we did bring Double Scarf. I brought Double Scarf. Uh, my two Scarfers were the Chandelure and the Zerkatry. I thought... Uh, I, I mean, Zerkatry was absolutely my, my win condition here. It is not going to be Scarfed. Rude was going to be his only Scarfer, and that is always going to be a KO. I, I mean, even at one Beast Boost. But with the two Beast Boosts, um, that's going to be it for Week 1, I guess. That is a 6-0, it looks like. Um, pretty unexpected, but it was a really fun match. It was a really scary match to prep for, but um, I kind of did what I had to do here, right? I have the Marowak terrified me. Premier and it terrified me. He just had so many different weapons that I really thought had a lot of potential here. And that's going to be it for week one. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more draft stuff and uh, more just stuff to come in general in the future. But with that one, thank you guys so much for watching. Everyone's again, out.